Now, the next concept subtract 3 hours 35 minutes 34 seconds from 12 hours 25 minutes and 22 seconds from means from value we should take first hours next minutes next seconds how many hours 12 hours 12 hours 25 minutes 22 seconds from this 3 hours 3 we should take in one's place of hours 35 minutes and 34 seconds now subtract now subtract this ok how to subtract this is the rough column this is the rough column here so we subtract so from right to left that is from seconds to hours seconds to hours first subtract seconds column 22 minus 34 22 minus 34 we cannot subtract because 22 22 is this is step 1 in the step 1 22 is less than 34 if 22 is less than 34 then what to do so we should borrow we should borrow 1 minute 1 minute from here so if you borrow 1 minute from here out of 25 minutes if you take 1 minute borrow then you will get 24 minutes 24 minutes ok if you take 1 minute borrow here then you will get 24 minutes so then 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds 60 plus 22 so if you are taking borrowing 1 minute means 60 seconds plus 22 seconds 60 plus 22 82 you will get 82 here if you borrow 1 minute here so that 1 minute if you convert into seconds that is 60 seconds 60 and plus this 22 60 plus 22 you will get 82 seconds 82 seconds ok now you subtract seconds 82 minus 34 82 minus 34 then how to subtract 2 minus 4 means borrow from here here you will get 7 and 12 12 minus 4 is 8 then 7 minus 3 is 4 what is the answer 48 is the answer 48 is the answer now after that this is the subtraction of a seconds then in step in step 2 subtract minutes minutes column second column here 24 do not take this 25 25 we borrowed means we get 24 now 24 minus 35 we cannot make minus because 24 is less than 35 24 is less than 35 if 24 is less than 35 then what to do we should borrow we should borrow so 1 hour from the next digit so here 12 hours are there if you take 1 hour borrow then you left here 11 hours 11 hours if you 11 hours you borrow so 11 hours you will get so if you take 1 hour borrow from here 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes 60 plus 24 you will get 60 plus 24 60 plus 24 you will get 84 now you will get here 84 minutes ok now 84 minus 35 84 minus 35 enough borrow from here 7 and 14 14 minus 5 is 9 7 minus 3 is 4 49 so here you will get 49 minutes this is step 2 now step 3 subtract arts 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 it is very easy 11 minus 3 from 4 to 11 count 4 to 11 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is 8 it is 8 right here 8 so the difference is 8 arts 
so 49 minutes 48 seconds ok. First we have to check so uh, subtraction so in the seconds if a mind unit is smaller then you take 1 minute borrow from the next minutes place. So, then that you convert into seconds and add before how many seconds are there from that you subtract in the same way. So, if in the minutes if minutes minute unit is smaller then you take 1 hour borrow from the next place of hours. So, then 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes that 60 and previous minutes you should add then take that value from that before whatever the value is there that you subtract then after that so subtract adds. So, this is the method to subtract 1 by 1 1 by 1 ok. Now students in exercise 5 add so minutes and seconds we should add. So, then how to add see here here 65 seconds and 35 seconds first we should add seconds. So, in step 1 step 1 add 65 and 35 65 35 5 plus 5 10 6 plus 1 7 8 9 10 100 100 seconds. So, then 100 seconds. So, first if we add seconds if that is 60 or more than 60 then we convert minutes that is minutes into minutes as well as in seconds. So, then 100 seconds is nothing but 60 plus 40. So, why we are converting into 60 and 40 because 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So, that is why compulsory we should take 60 and how many more so seconds left that we should write here ok. 60 seconds means 1 minute 1 minute plus 40 seconds. So, then here 1 minute and 40 seconds seconds we should write in seconds place and minutes 1 minute means we should take carry over on here ok. So, now add minutes in the second step add minutes ok. How to add minutes 56 step 2 ok 56 28 and 1 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7 plus 6 and after that 8, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 and more 8 we should add, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it is 15, 15 means 5 and take carry over here, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 2, 7, 8, 85, 85 minutes. Then how to convert this 85 minutes? 85 minutes means 60 plus 25. 60 means 1 hour. 60 minutes means 1 hour and 25 minutes. So, the total is 1 hour. 25 minutes. 1 hour, 25 minutes, 40 seconds. Okay. Now, the second question 10 hours 40 minutes 24 seconds, 5 hours 25 minutes 54 seconds. First in step 1, step, step 1 add seconds that is 24 and 54 that is 4 plus 4 8, 5 plus 2 7, 78 it is more than 60. When it is more than 60 then the seconds convert into minutes and seconds. So, then 60 plus 18, 60, 60 means 1 minute, 18 seconds, how many seconds? 18 seconds and 1 minute, 1 minute we should take carry over here, ok. Now, first step is over, second step, step 2, add 40, 25 and 1. 1 minute, 40 minutes and 25 minutes, 5 plus 0, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 4 plus 2, 6, 66 minutes, how many minutes, 66 minutes. Then how to write this 66 minutes, that is 
60 plus 6 minutes. 60, min 60 minutes means 1 hour. 1 hour 6 minutes. So, minutes we should take in the minutes that is 6 minutes. 6 means 0, 06 we should write and 1 hour. So, that 1 hour we should take carry over here. Now, add direct hours 5 plus 0, 5, 5 plus 1, 6 and here 1. 16 hours, 6 minutes, 18 seconds. So, this is the solution. This is the solution. Next, question number C. See in the rough column. So, we should do here also make a rough column. Make a rough column. Okay. See here. So, in the question third, years and months. First, we should add months. Add 7 plus 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 means it is less than 12. If less than 12, no need to, no need to. So, means, so convert years and months. Why? Because if it is 12 or more than 12, then we should convert into years and months. Okay? It is less than 12. So, why, uh, why we should uh, convert if it is 12 or more than 12? Because one year is equal to 12 months. So, that is why if the sum of the months is 12 or more than 12, then that case you should convert the months into months as well as in years. Here the sum is less than 12, just you take 10 as it is, 7 plus 3, 10, 9 plus 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, it means 15 years, 15 years, 10 months. 15 years, 10 months. Okay? Now, next. Here, find the difference. Difference means subtract. So, now, 45 seconds and 20 seconds. First, you subtract. 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0, 5. So, we can subtract. It is very easy because 45 is greater than 20. 4 minus 2 is 2. Here also, it is easy to subtract. So, no need to take borrow and nothing. So, 40 is greater than 28. So, 0 minus 8 we cannot make minus borrow from here. You will get 2, you will get 3, 1 less and 10 more. 10 minus 8 is 2, 3 minus 2, 1. 1 minute, here 1, 12 minutes, not 1 minute, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. Okay, okay students. Now, so that Next question, so 12 hours, 20 minutes, 4 seconds, 8 hours, 14 minutes, 16, 16 seconds, we should subtract. Here, in step 1, the first seconds, so subtract seconds first. Here 0, 4 means 4 seconds is less than 16 seconds. If 4 seconds less than 6, 16 seconds, then what to do? So, we should borrow a 1 minute. Out of 20 minutes, if you take 1 minute borrow, you will get here 19 minutes. Here 1 minute means 60 seconds. 60 plus 4, 64. 64 seconds. Now, 64 minus 16. And then, here 5, here 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. Okay. 5 minus 48. 5 minus 1, 48. Here you will get 48 seconds, 48 seconds. Now, in minutes, step 2, minutes. How many minutes we have? 19 and 14. Then 9 minus 4 is 5, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, that is 0, 5 minutes. Then step 3, this is step 1, step 2, step 3. Twelve minus eight hours. Twelve minus eight means so nine to twelve we should count. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve means four. Four hours. Four hours, five minutes, forty-eight seconds. Okay. Now students here calculating days. Number of days. How to calculate number of days? Number of days. See here in the first question. Anita arrived at her cousin's house on 24th May. 
so on 24th may she arrived and stayed there till 15th june 15th june from 24th may to 15th june she stayed so at her cousin's house for how many days she lived there means how many days she stay there here so 24th may 24th may she arrived it means so we should calculate 24th day also so and also till 15th so that 15th also we should calculate means we should include we should include the first given date and the last given date also we should include we should include both the days so what 24th may and 15th june these two days also we should include okay why because on 24th may she arrived and also 5th june so till 15th june so she stay there only so that is why the first day as well as the last day also we include and we calculate so first here so in the month of may so how many days we have in the month of may we have 31 days once you count january february march april may may means 31 days so in may we have 31 days okay so then in the may first you calculate in the may in the month of may how many days she so stayed so in may in may so the month the may month has Thirty-one days. Thirty-one. So, from from twenty-fourth May, from twenty-fourth May to thirty-first May, total days. from 24th may to 31st may total how many days that we should count first how many days in the month of may she stayed there so 24 means don't take 24 because 24 also we calculate no so take 23 or otherwise so count on fingers 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 31 eight days or otherwise so take before one number so that is so 31 minus 23 so why we are why we are taking here 23 so when we subtract so this number is also 24 is also include no so that is why we should take one day before so 31 minus 23 so before the day why we are considering before the day because the 24th day is also included so that is why so one day so we should so take before that is 34 minus 23 now borrow from here you will get 2 here 11 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 from 4 to 11 we should count 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 8 days 8 days in the month of may how many days she stayed 8 days now june number of days in the month of june number of days in the month of june in the month of june she stayed that is 15th june means 15 days only so in the month of june 15 days 15 total days total days total days she stayed so may month 8 days and june month 15 days 15 plus 8 23 days 15 plus 8 23 days total 23 days she stayed means 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 
if you add 8 then you will get 23 days. So, in the total how many days she stayed at her cousin's house 23 days ok. Now, the next question how many days are there between 29th July and 17th August between between means so do not include these two days do not include 29th and 17th August ok. First in the month of July. So, number of days number of days in July month number of days in July that is 29 do not calculate this 29. So, between means 30th 38th and July also we have 31 days so once you check January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July means 31 days. So, 31st is also there 31st total 2 days. How many days? 2 days and after that number of days in August month number of days in August. So, till 16 only we should count. So, why because we should do not include this 17th August between is asking between means do not include this 17 16 days 16 till 16th August. Therefore, number of days number of days between 29th 29th July to 17th August 17th is equal to 2 plus 16 2 plus 16 18 days how many days total 18 days between 29th July and 17th August first we should think either the given so given so date either we include or not. So, according to the statements we should decide either if it includes then include it otherwise so no need to include according to the statements ok.